name is Keith Emmerling. I want to thank Sherry Steiner. Um, I'm going to take you on my artistic journey. This is a painting of Dahlia's oil on linen. It's 40 by 30 inches. And the flowers are just as big and beautiful as they appear in the painting. The beauty found in nature is a valuable commodity in the world with so much uncertainty. Yes, indeed. This is a photograph of the Baldwin Hill Elm in Egremont. And it has been in the Power of Place show at the Berkshire Museum, as well as there's a print in the permanent collection of the Berkshire Museum. Uh, it is uh, done on 4x5 transparency film. Transparency film is like slide film, only uh, bigger. It's 15, about 15 times the surface area of a piece of 35 millimeter film. All this means that it creates beautiful, stunning reproductions. My first painting was done in grade school. My family still has it, and I still like it. Look deep into nature, and you will understand everything better. A quote by Albert Einstein. This is a back road in Richmond, Mass. Uh, it was painted in plein air. In plein air means painted outdoors. It's when you bring your easels, your brushes, your paints, your paper or canvas, and you paint out stores inspired by what's right in front of you. Creativity is an everyday reminder of our humanity. Uh, this is a familiar scene to people in the Berkshires. This is my photography website, KeithEmmerling.com. It, uh, it has my former work as a commercial photographer, uh, magazine covers, uh, industrial portraits, uh, art reproduction, including fine art glass reproduction uh, of other people's work. This is uh, also has my fine art, uh, landscape, and still life. This is a photograph taken over the border in New York State. Uh, it's a beautiful fall evening. This is a uh, apple tree, apple orchard in Vermont. It is uh, a photograph, it's medium format, which means the film, it's a bigger camera than 35 millimeter. It means the film is four times the surface area of a 35 millimeter. Again, lending to brilliant reproductions. This is a photograph of the backside of an Oda Lake by the causeway. It is, uh, done on uh, a, sp a certain particular film that uh, enlivens the colors. Uh, the blue in the water is a reflection of the sky as well. It just was a brilliant, beautiful fall day. This is a rock in Housatonic, luscious greens and uh, uh, really good neutrals. I'm also well versed in digital photography and Photoshop and Lightroom. I painted into my 30s. Uh, I started about in my 20s and then I stopped entirely for a couple decades and when I returned to it I returned with a passion. This is a painting of a conch shell. Uh, it's a watercolor it's been exhibited many times. It's also in my uh, Still Life greeting card set, which you can find at studionotes.etsy.com. Art is evidence that beauty exists in the world. Uh, this is a birch tree that was on Summit Road in uh, Richmond, Mass, and it is no longer there, but it's preserved here in this painting. 
This is a quote, quote by Ralph Waldo Emerson. Flowers are a proud assertion that a ray of beauty outvalues all the utilities of the world. This is pears on a glass table. It was done in California. This is a pair of hiking boots that were painted as part of a demonstration for the Guild of Berkshire Artists. They are uh, painted from life and it's a watercolor and you can find painting demonstrations and, me, and videos of me talking about my work on my website, keithemmerlingfineart.com. Uh, this is a relatively large painting, 18 by 24 inches. Uh, open up your potential, another still life. And now we're going to go into the books. So this is uh, my first book, The Little Cookbook of Philosophy. It can be found on Amazon. You can just search for The Little Cookbook of Philosophy. And uh, it's got it's for, hardcover, 44 pages. Uh, it's got recipes, poems, writings, and it uh, uh, also has, uh, I did watercolor tints that I reproduced on the pages. So this is Pate Campagna. The recipe can be found in the book. It's a relatively extensive recipe. Uh, pate Campagna means country pate. It's a meat dish. Uh, this is a poem that I wrote that's in the book called Song. As I lie in bed, I sleep, I wake. As dreams unfold, the earth I take. Awake the spring and summer make. In the fall, a rest I partake. Growth to me the seasons bring and the harvest of what sweetly sings. This is a recipe. Uh, it's a, a, a vegan dish with, uh, that's part of the vegan alphabet dinners. Uh, seven ingredients that begin with, in this case, the letter S. Uh, sunflower seeds, semolina spaghetti, scallions, sage, sunflower oil, sun-dried tomato, and sea salt. And this is a picture of it. It is a dish that's it's kind of like a pesto with toppings. This is one of the micro-essays in the book. It's the... It's part of one of the writings. Uh, and I also think that this heirloom apple kind of looks a little bit like a globe. This is my second book called The Fine Art of Flowers, Flower Portraits, Oil and Watercolor. Uh, it can be found on the Blur Bookstore, and here's the direct link below. This is the first painting in the book. There's 53 paintings in the book. Uh, this one is purple orchid, and it's got beautifully detailed uh, uh, orchid blossoms. It's 30 by, 25, 30 by 24 inches, and it's oil on linen. This is a Calli and Fatsia japonica leaf. Uh, it's an oil on linen, quite large, 40 by 30 inches, and that calla lily was just huge, gorgeous, and beautiful. Uh, and so there's the Fatsia japonica leaf. This is a white peony in watercolor. This is a king protea. It is, proteas are part of a large family of flowers that are tropical mostly. And this one happens to be particularly large itself. And this is a painting, oil on linen, 40 by 30 inches. This is a daylily, uh, painted locally and from life, and it's a watercolor. This is a tulip with splattering watercolor and the writings. And this, is, this says, 10 things I thought about while painting this tulip. This tulip is not an airplane. My pencil shaving looks like a petal. Birds are glorious creatures. Flowers sing like nature's song. Chairs do not sit still like rocks. Drip pool puddle plinth. 
See nature, feel it, be it. If pants had wings, roll over the terrain gently. And pickles are not the same as polka dots. So there's a little bit of humor in here too. This is a scarlet yellow tulip in the last hours. And there's another poem, bright blooms, willowy stalks, anthem of spring. Unfold your petals, uncurl your leaves, bring sunshine until the cycle ends with spindly stalks only to repeat bulb and ground to flower again. This is my third book, Plated Dishes, The Fine Art of Food. Again, it can be found on the Blur Bookstore. And this is the direct URL below to the, to the book. You can also find these books on my website, uh, the art books, Plated Dishes, and The Fine Art of Flowers on keithemmerlingfineart.com. And the cookbooks, The Little Cookbook of Philosophy, and uh, Plated Dishes, The Fine Art of Food again on uh, mysecretlifeasachef.com. So this is the, actually the final chapter in the book, Food, Art, and Creativity, but I thought it summed up things well. Uh, this is a picture of a goose dinner uh, that was for Thanksgiving one year. This is the table of contents of the book. There are 20 recipes and a lamb shank painting on the left, oil on panel, 9 by 12 inches, one of the earlier paintings in the series. This is a section about the visuals, uh, not only the appeal of food and the visual importance of, of, of how food is presented, but also that of photographs and paintings. Uh, these, this book is a, a culmination of uh, recipes that were created by me, cooked by me, plated by me, photographed by me, and then paintings made from the photographs. And on the right is a dish of sautéed sea scallops with truffles and a truffle buttercream sauce topped with arugula. And it's a photograph. Uh, this talks about the components of a dish as well, you know, and how and how the ingredients influence a dish, as well as that of a painting or a photograph. Uh, this is a watercolor on the right of artichokes. This is one of the recipes in the book, beef filet with butternut squash, puree, and broccoli. Uh, very colorful. And this is uh, two recipes for scallops. One of them is featured in the picture on the right, sea scallops with chorizo, dry salami, tomato, and fennel tops. This is a corn and poblano fritter with fried egg and chai blossom, another recipe in a photograph. This is uh, an example of the photographs and paintings side by side. On the right, there's the photograph. On the left, there's the painting, and it's a rack of lamb with delicata squash. This is uh, pancakes, fluffy pancakes with whipped cream on top, painting on the right, photograph on the left. This is a painting of sauteed pole beans, red pepper, squash blossom, and I believe that's a zinnia. Uh, oil on canvas, 24 by 24 inches. This is uh, flat waffles with whipped cream and blueberries. Another oil on linen painting, 18 by 24 inches. This is uh, arugula, red and yellow tomatoes, avocado, and blue cheese, a salad. Again, oil on linen, 24 by 30 inches. This is a moulard duck breast viewed from the top with raspberries and cassis sauce. Oil on linen, 20 by 20 inches. So all this, these paintings and the book and actually my greeting cards were uh, featured in a show at Lauren Clark Fine Art called Paint Plated Dishes and this uh, this is a little trailer from the show so this is uh, Lauren's logo this is the outside of the building. 
as you're entering the building. And Lauren also does framing. She did a beautiful job of framing a number of pieces in the show. These are the, this is Lauren here. You can see the show going around the gallery. This is a little bit closer look. He's small paintings mixed with large paintings, a guinea hen leg with morels and polenta, prime rib, some smaller paintings, and the back wall of the gallery. There's the framing that Lauren did. Mosaic, you'll see that a little bit later. There's Lauren looking at the book. And there's the book with a foreword by chef Brian Allberg. And this is the mosaic that Lauren hung beautifully and framed. And I want to thank Laura for hosting an exhib a beautiful exhibition. Thank you very much, Lauren. And this is my secret life as a chef.com. This is my food website. There's uh, plates in the, there's a, the menus on the left side of the website and there's plates which show various different dishes and photographs of those dishes in various different categories. There's some videos uh, of cooking demonstrations and how to prepare certain cuts of meat. Uh, there's the cookbooks, and then there's some information about me. And uh, I'm going to show you a snippet from one of the cooking videos. Uh, and it's a squab breast with uh, goose fat, sautéed, shaved Brussels sprouts. I think we're about done. looks good so we'll take our uh, our tongs usually the wing the wing the wing joints do not cook as well as the uh, as the breast meat so you have to be kind of careful with that um, sometimes they're not done as much but you can see we've got two beautiful squab you can drizzle a little bit of the pan juice over the top and squab are supposed to be cooked medium rare and the legs are cooked well done voila we've got a beautiful plate of squab with uh shaved goose fat seared Brussels sprouts, and we'll give it a taste. And that bottle on the left was, is what's called crema con balsamico. It's a balsamic glaze, and I drizzled that over the squab and a little bit later in the video. So this is my fine art website, keithemmerlingfineart.com, and you can find uh, my paintings there, oils and watercolors, as well as some drawings. Uh, they're classified under flowers. There's a small, medium, and large paintings of flowers, as well as landscapes, still lifes, works on paper. And there's also a link to my Etsy shop, studionotes.etsy.com, uh, for my greeting cards. And the books are there under books, and there's some press and videos that I described earlier of painting demonstrations and me talking about my artwork. And you can also sign up for my mailing list on the front homepage. So this is one of the greeting cards in the flower set. There's 48 cards total. Uh, and uh, the pen is not included. Um, there's a flower set, a tool set, a landscape set, a vegetable set, a fruit set, a still life set. Uh, and five by seven cards with eight cards per set. And the, uh, there's also about an approximately four by five inch set that has five cards per set. And there's a landscape 
flowers and uh, vegetables set for that. And again, this is studionotes.etsy.com, and this is another card, and there's a logo sticker that you can use to seal the envelopes. These are some postcards I've done on my work. And this is an interview that was done for the Artful Mind for the October-November 2020 issue. Uh, this is me on the cover, a photograph by Harriet Candy. And this is the inside of the, the magazine. There's eight pages or four two-page spreads. It has uh, photographs of my work as well as me talking about my artwork and my process. This is a logo I came up for my, uh, for my work, uh, fine art, photo, word, culinary, music, and video. Um, this is a link to my music website, keithemmerlingmusic.com. I'm very much newer to music. Uh, I've been taking lessons in guitar, voice, keyboard, bass guitar, and I've also been writing songs. I have 10 songs that I've submitted to the Copyright Office, um, but I'm still very much learning. This is a painting I did of the headstock of one of my bases. This is a painting that was inspired by the song Dance, which you'll see a video of in just a minute. And uh, I want to thank uh, the Soundry Music Songwriting Workshop for uh, all their uh, wonderful uh, uh, assistance with putting together the music. Uh, the song is written by me. Uh, I do the vocals, I did the artwork, and I did the video. The, the, the song features guitar by Billy Keen, bass by Miles Lolly, and drums by Brian Cantor. And this is, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six.
This is a list of uh, places where I've exhibited my artwork. Uh, you can read it at your leisure. Um, you can pause the video if you like. And I also have a BA in Fine Arts from the State University of New York at Albany, which is now called the University at Albany. And uh, I have some non-degree graduate work. Creativity flows from within. Let the mighty river run its course. That's it, folks. Mm -hmm.